Happy Friday, everybody. It was an active one here across the Red River Valley, and uh, thanks to that uh, line of storms that was severe for most of its way through North Dakota, it did weaken a bit in Minnesota. You can see that the reports really do fall off the table there as we go into Minnesota. So some of the more uh, intense reports we got from today's storms are uh, down in the um, Lisbon area, 72 mile per hour wind gust there in the Lisbon area, then up toward uh, the Cooperstown, 81 miles per hour, that wind gust up there, 83 miles per hour, that wind gust uh, for our friends in the Laverne area. Then a little bit further north, the Grand Forks at the airport, a, a measured wind gust of 63 miles per hour. So definitely damaging wind gusts. And you can see kind of those broken tree graphics on there. Those indicate all the areas where there was some reported damage, whether that be the tractor trailers that were turned over there on I-29 or you know, trees broken or even damage to trampolines blown, trampolines blown around, things of that nature. Of course, thanks everyone for sending in uh, your photos of the damage that you saw out there today. Things much quieter now. Even starting to see a few peaks of some sunshine here or there between the clouds and even some sunshine, uh, high pressure making its way in to the Jamestown area. That's good news for those folks. Definitely want a, a bit more quiet conditions there out toward the west. Still seeing maybe a few raindrops there in uh, Beltrami County, uh, but I do expect these to again be few and far between as we continue through the rest of this Friday afternoon. The temperatures are warmest though across Minnesota. Seeing some 70s up there uh, in Bemidji, 78, 77 Thief River Falls, 76 in Grand Forks and in Fargo, but we are quite a bit cooler there. Devil's Lake 63 and 69 there in Jamestown. Do have a wind advisory issued for the Devil's Lake Basin and the James River Valley. This is until 9 p.m. So this is where we're expecting those wind gusts to be 40 to 50 miles per hour uh, that are not associated with any type of thunderstorm. These are just as that high pressure is rushing its way in here from the west, we'll start to see some winds that could be gusty and also could po again potentially blow over uh, tractor trailers or cause more wind damage that's not associated with any type of thunderstorm. You can see uh, wind gusting there to 30 miles per hour at this time in both Devil's Lake and in Jamestown. Got a gust from Minot. Our friends up there got a gust of 44 miles per hour a few moments ago, even a gust of 40 in Fargo, but you can see the winds out of the south for those warmer counties in Minnesota, out of the west for those cooler neighborhoods there across our, uh, the Devil's Lake Basin. So watching, of course, that wind continuing through the afternoon and uh, expecting the clouds to eventually push off toward the east as well. You see by 3 o'clock, may still see a few lingering showers out toward the east, but you see those winds gusting again to 30 miles per hour or 40 miles per hour in Fargo. Temperatures this afternoon, 70s and 80s for those high temperatures. Notice plenty of sunshine for us. It's just on the windy side for us for this afternoon. And the windiest conditions, of course, will be where that wind advisory is, out toward Devil's Lake and Jamestown. Wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour there through the afternoon. Good news is once we head towards, say, the sunset hour or points shortly there after sunset, notice by 9 o'clock those winds really do calm down. That's why that wind advisory does expire there at 9 p.m. So I do expect with the setting sun, we'll see calm winds take over. Look, these temperatures also, 50s and 60s by, say, 1 o'clock in the morning. And by tomorrow morning, expecting uh, some even some lower 50s in the cooler spots up toward the Devil's Lake Basin for those morning temperatures. But for the weekend, High pressure is in charge, so I'm expecting plenty of sunshine, 80s for Saturday, 80s and 90s for Sunday. And we do warm things back up, though, once we get to Wednesday, back in the middle 90s for Wednesday. But notice still plenty of sunshine, Brian, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, well above average for this time of year. Usually we say this is the calm before the storm, but this is the calm after the storm? That's right. When high pressure comes in behind these storms, we really do see things quiet down. That sounds good. Thanks, Nathan. You bet. Well, straight ahead at noon, top dog. Hundreds of animals are making their way to the Westminster Dog Show to see who is best of the best.